Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Dr. Rick Wright. Oh, well, let's go to Boston, Massachusetts, and find out about the music industry. The genius of John Kellogg. Cameo. John is the assistant director of the Berkeley School of Music, Boston, Massachusetts, by in-resident music expert, lawyer, genius, and formerly of the New Decade here in Syracuse, New York, back in the 1970s. Hey, John Kellogg, Boston College, Los. Hey, Dr. Wright, how are you doing today? Hey, how you doing? How's the music world today, man? Oh, man, it's going along fine, fine. So, every time the music gets played... Somebody gets paid. Showtime. Talk about That's it. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Wright. This is John Kellogg with The Biz. A report on the business behind the music because everybody knows somebody in the music business. You know, Dr. Wright, in prior weeks, I've discussed various parts of the bundle of rights in copyright, the most valuable asset in the music industry. We've talked about the mechanical right, the performance right, the synchronization right, which is the rights the right to place a song or a record in a movie, TV show, or other audiovisual production. You know, I just came from seeing the new movie American Gangster, Dr. Wright. Oh, about my old buddy Frank Lucas. Oh, I man. Call what a gangster. Movie. What a movie. <laughs> oh, and, man. And, and, you know, in that movie, I heard a lot of prior release songs used in the background of various scenes. Yes. Yeah, they used Across the 110th Street by Bobby Womack. I know you play that, don't you, oh, Dr. Yeah. Wright? Across the 110th Street with Bobby Womack. In fact, oh. one of my other buddies was in that movie, a disc jockey by the name of Fred Corey. Oh, Big yes. Daddy Nightmare well, Fred Corey, man. Great, 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 great music. Well, they used... Uh, across 110th Street pretty prominently in background scenes, and that brought back a lot of memories. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Bobby Womack was really pleased because in order for them to synchronize that song from the record to the movie, they had to get his permission, and you can bet that that came along with the check. Oh, yes. That's right, Bobby the got check. paid. He got paid because he well, got played in that movie, huh? That's right. American gangster, man. Frank Lucas. Oh, yeah. yeah hey, yeah. what a lot of other, in fact, we're talking about an era in Harlem in the 1970s, of course, yeah. and across 110th Street is Harlem in New York City, and uh, what can I say? But, John, you keep kicking, man. You're the in-resident music expert. Well, let me tell you something else, Dr. Wright. Today, I want to talk about another right in the bundle of copyrights. The derivative right, that's the right to derive or create a new copyrighted work based on a prior copyrighted work. Anytime someone bases a new copyrighted work on a prior copyrighted work, they must get the permission of the owner of the work they base this new work on. After leaving the auditorium where I saw American Gangster, I saw a poster for a movie that's going to be in theaters later on this month. The title of that movie is... This Christmas. Does that sound familiar, Dr. Wright? This Christmas. Yes, that's the right. Donny that's Hathaway. Right. That's right. That's the movie that's based on the Donny Hathaway song, This Christmas. Okay. And as a result, you can bet that Donny's estate was paid a handsome sum by the movie's producers to produce this new movie based on his song. Okay. Now, you might remember the movie Lean On Me about 10 years ago that oh, was yes. based on Bill Withers' song. Remember that movie? Yes, Lean On Me about my great buddy, the principal, man, who had that uh, what, baseball bet to keep the students ready in Newark, that's New right. Jersey. That, that, that's the movie. Well, you know, this, this derivative right, right can be very a very valuable source of revenue for both Donnie Hathaway and Bill Withers for Lean On Me and this movie this Christmas. The movie's producers had to obtain a derivative license for basing the movie on their songs and also a synchronization license because the song was used in scenes from the movie. In addition, because the soundtrack albums of both movies contain mechanical reproductions of the songs, a mechanical royalty must be paid for each sale of an album or of the soundtrack single. So as you can see, when a movie is based on or derived from a song, the potential income for a songwriter might be a substantial from a variety of the bundle of rights that make up copyright. That's why I say every time the music gets played, somebody, somebody gets, gets paid. paid. And if you're a songwriter, make sure you get paid and not played. Well, John, how can those future songwriters find you in life? Well, you know what they can do? Email me at 
Music Business News and Views at Comcast.net. And if you have any questions, email them to me at Music Business News and Views at Comcast.net. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks with The Biz. Well, John, this is a pleasure hearing from you. John Kellogg, Esquire. Hey, by the way, John, Cameo was on the Tom Jonah Morning Show the other morning. You know I missed him. I'm going to have to go on and check that out on, on, the, on the website and play it again. How they sound? They kicking, man. Your old oh, yeah. group, Cameo. In fact, oh, yeah. John Kellogg, everybody, he's been with the new decade here in Syracuse, New York, back in the 1970s while he was a student at Syracuse University. And then John Kellogg left Syracuse with his degree and became rich. And oh, famous. my God. <laughs> Loving you, John. Hey, man, thanks so much. See you in a couple of weeks. I tell you what, man, I'm rooting for Indianapolis in that game this afternoon, oh. man, with the Patriots, well, look, I'm, man. I'm, I'm getting ready to turn it on right now. Take you care. guys got everything in Boston. John Kellogg, Berkeley Please. School of Music. Loving you, John. Love All you, right, love man. you, love you. Full School Sundays. The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.